Hello and welcome to the next quad life. Well, most quadriplegics I know, including myself, want to live in like Florida or Australia or somewhere that it's always warm and I'm included. Unfortunately, I live in Iowa, so that is not a place that is always warm. And I try to limit how much I go out in the winter but on days like this in January, um, I have appointments and I just uh, don't have a choice. I have to go out. So, therefore, I have to prepare for cold weather. Now, like anyone, what I have to do is layer. <laughs> so, I start with a t shirt and then we put on a sweatshirt. So this video here uh, shows how I uh, put on a sweatshirt in bed and make sure we get it down and that everything is nicely covered. Oh. <laughs> Down. <laughs> now for legs, of course, I don't wear jeans all year long, but now I can wear a regular pair of jeans when it's not too bad out, or like the pair I have on now, they are insulated. So the inside of the jeans has kind of an extra layer of um, padding or just a little bit more heat to go around uh, your body to keep your legs warm. Um, for me, uh, my right leg especially, I've had a lot of muscle flap surgeries from pressure sores and it's just had some problems over the years so therefore uh, my right leg doesn't have very good circulation so it can and does get cold easily so these insulated jeans help a lot with that especially on the really cold days and as you know I normally go barefoot and you can see with these jeans that they pretty well cover my feet but this is the time of year that even I will wear footwear um, like it or not just it gets cold enough that your skin needs protection especially with not walking and bad circulation um, that's especially the case but the shoes that I do wear when needed um, they are very minimalist, um, say like I have a pair from Vivo Barefoot that's called, yes that is a shoe company, at their shoes are so thin that they will roll up into a ball and that does help for um, keeping my feet warm when I'm out but if it's around 40 or anywhere close to that and not real windy then um, I will still not do footwear of just going between the vehicle and the, the uh, building 
Now, this is my normal clothing, and of course, I also add a coat. But I can't really get a coat on very easily. I can, but it takes a whole lot of work. So, I just put a coat over me instead. So, like for me, I lay it on my lap and then it has snaps behind my neck that help to keep it on and this again just adds a little layer of protection on my chest and we have to make sure that uh, we keep it down in front so air doesn't blow up the front and get trapped there because that really wouldn't do any help and if it is really cold then I can also do a stocking cap for my head and I do small stocking caps for my hands um, trying to get my fingers stuffed into um, gloves that have finger holes would not work too well so I just do small stocking caps over uh, the ends of my armrests and it works pretty well one thing I do have to be careful of is that if I get too many layers then it will push me forward a little bit in my chair and then if my back is too far forward I have a harder time reaching the buttons in my headrest which are already hard to reach and it uh, can push me into my controls for my chair. So those are the things I do for cold weather. Mm -hmm. Say so I try to l limit my outings during the winter as little as possible. And especially if there's snow around, um, this chair gets stuck in snow easily. Um, thankfully, my dad is real good at. Uh, clearing the driveway in areas that I would drive at, but some sidewalks and businesses don't get it as uh, clear, so it can be a challenge to get around. And if I know it's going to be, then I try to reschedule if possible. But that's what I do, and I look forward to spring every year, and when I can go back to just a t-shirt and shorts, but that will be a little while yet. And until then, I keep doing what I can and living the uh, life I've been given. So, thanks for uh, watching, and we'll see you again the next time. Bye for now.